this was more about transport, and the last talk will be about like connected cars, uh, open source connected cars, and autonomous cars. Uh, but now we go back on logistics. So transport is an important part of logistics. Uh, we go back on logistics with uh, um, uh, where is it? Yeah, it's here. You have the same shirt, guys. <laughs> so uh, oh, almost, almost, yeah, almost, yeah. You take this one, um, and uh, yeah, do the slides. Alexander, ready? Yeah, awesome. So Alexandre is here. He represents one of the most promising startup of the logistic industry. Uh, they have been working a lot about them in medias and and newspaper to make a lot of pressure on you, right? Uh, you, you, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, please a warm welcome for Alexandre, and he will tell us about Comargo. Thank you. So hi everybody. I'm feeling a bit alone now, uh, just after this group of four people. It's my first one-man show. Um, so, Convago. Um, okay. So, I guess most of you uh, have never heard about Convago before, and it's quite normal because we are still a very young company, um, just only about one year old. Uh, for those who know, I'm happy that you know already. For the others, it's actually quite simple. It's a marketplace that connects uh, businesses with shipping needs and carrying company that have um, carrying companies that have uh, capacity available at a given time. So, basically, why are we here? So, first, thanks Mehdi and Stefan for having us uh, talking here today. And then, because it's about logistics, and mostly because we believe that information will be the most uh, important part uh, in our work that will help fix the issues that our shippers and carriers uh, face in their everyday logistic um, needs. So, before we go into detail, in the um, in the problems that the that the carriers and the shippers face in their everyday uh, business needs, uh, I would like to just give you a, a few figures about the the market and uh, how big the, the, this this problem can be. So first of all, the the, the freight market in Europe is uh, almost about 300 billion dollars each year, and almost 90 percent of all the goods that we consume and use every day go through some trucking transportation at some point. Then we identified more or less 500,000 carriers companies in Europe, and 90% of them have less than 10 trucks, which means that we, have, we are facing a, a, a very fragmented market with very, very small carrying companies that have limited needs and uh, capacities to, uh, to identify uh, some potential business. And then, Resulting from this huge market and this very fragmented capacity, we have uh, astonishing figures of estimated half of the trucks are not, are not filled when you see them on the road, a third might be empty, and last but not least, if you translate this to um, economical, uh, non-economical but environmental impact, this might amount to 60 million tons of CO2 each year that is wasted. So, huge opportunity cost for uh, business with shipping needs and huge opportunity cost for uh, carrying companies that can't access the huge market that, that, they, that, they, that they would. So basically what we try to do is to connect the very small carrying company uh, in a specific region in France or anywhere in Europe with all the needs that we can gather from uh, businesses, from small, very small business to, uh, to big companies on this marketplace. So the marketplace is, is, is very simple. You're a shipping company with a specific need to ship one, two pallets tomorrow from one point to another. You just connect on your profile and uh, you have a form and you uh, can actually make the demand for this, for this shipping. On the other side, uh, we have carrying companies that are looking for, for business and that accept uh, and go for this demand. The goal is to be much faster and flexible than what is happening today and for carrying company 
to be uh, able to access business that they wouldn't access uh, on the normal uh, contracts that they have. So this was the very the, the start of how, how we how we fought the the the, the, the the project at the beginning, matching uh, needs and capacity. And then when we started talking with more and more uh, of potential partners, we understood that the, the logistics and the, the logistics process and the, um, the freight management from end to end was much more complex and that, was, that w there was uh, an even higher need for information at all the different steps in the process. So request and matching this we talked about a little bit and then if you if you go further down the process we identified huge needs for uh, tracking um, uh, uh, better tracking uh, on the admin side we understood that uh, invoicing uh, that consignment letters uh, all this paper stuff was uh, heavy for uh, for both sides and finally we talked about data just before uh, at this table uh, there is a huge value for both sides to be able to uh, gather more data, understand their data, and, um, and impact uh, the transportation data into, the, into all the rest of the business. So if you go step by step, how did we come up with the, with the solution as is today, and what are our ideas for the future? So we had a lot of uh, feedbacks from shippers any of uh, any uh, sectors and any size and we um, step by step we understood what how they define the uh, shipping need uh, how we could standardize it as of today it's quite difficult for them to be uh, efficient on uh, requesting transportation because they have a limited set of known carriers uh, it's a long It's a, it's a long process for them to to get the, um, to get feed, to get answers and uh, and transportation with multiple emails and back and forth negotiations. So we designed a form on the website, a little bit like um, like booking your uh, ticket on uh, SNCF or uh, booking a hotel. And that gives you an instant quote and matches you directly with transportation. In the future, we actually would like to, or imagine that information could flow directly from warehouse management systems to, to the platform and actually book a transportation uh, instantly. Then on the matching part, we, we designed an algorithm that um, effectively calculates uh, the price of a transport and matches it immediately with uh, carriers that um, have set their preferences in their profile to be looking for uh, such kind of transportation uh, at this level of price and uh, at this time of the year or of the day or of the following week. So we instantly match um, the needs and the capacity. Then down the road, uh, tracking is a big issue. So this is a little bit of a cliche, black box for shippers, but actually this is what we, we understood from them, that uh, tracking their, their goods is a very important part of their logistics supply chain, and it's not done properly today. So imagine in the future that through the platform, you can actually connect to all the trucks with the onboard uh, computing system uh, or uh, uh, connect to uh, the transportation management system of the carrier company that has your uh, load at this time. This would be a huge benefit for, uh, for shippers. Then admin, I know today it's a lot of paper stuff, uh, uh, consignment letters and invoicing gets lost, uh, payment is a long process. So there are many, many uh, innovations in these sectors that tend to dematerialize uh, all these documents. And uh, an idea is to, and the, the, the project is to integrate all these kind of innovations inside uh, the transport uh, on the platform. And then reporting, uh, we talked about data. Imagine that you could uh, actually understand the impact of a delay on the transportation uh, and, and taking this impact back into your overall company reporting and affecting it to uh, uh, marketing campaigns or, uh, or uh, financial budget instantly. This is all the kind of things that you can uh, uh, imagine if, if you could have the hand on, on all the transportation uh, issues and data and uh, injecting it into your overall reporting company suite. As a shipper and as a carrier, you could much better understand 
where are the roads that you are most benefic beneficial on, where you need to improve, uh, what's the impact of an old truck on a certain transportation. So this is all the kinds that you can imagine. It's all open for, uh, for imagination and for the, for, for the future. So just before this, so as a conclusion, you see that uh, this is uh, only the very beginning of, uh, of a revolution. And uh, we really try to take one step further inside this by designing and taking into account most of the issues that these partners face uh, and all the innovation that we can see in the logistics se sectors right now uh, about uh, in the future autonomous trucks, about uh, dematerialization of documents, about blockchain, uh, about uh, more and more complex management softwares. Um, this has a real impact. Uh, all the more if we are able to connect all these systems together and that they are able to uh, push the information from the uh, beginning of the process to the end. Otherwise, uh, there will still be friction and uh, the, 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 um, the, the process w won't be as, uh, um, as efficient as we can imagine. So this is the role of APIs and opening all these systems uh, is, uh, is really the key to, to make the, the, the supply chain seem seamless and much better uh, than it is today. So if you have questions or, uh, or uh, insights about the, the outlooks that I try to present and what could be plugged on the platform or what could be done better, I'm really happy to, uh, to discuss it now uh, all together. for one question. Yeah. Yes, I want to know the, how you measure the impact of your solution. Is it an impact in, in reducing transportation or is it, an op, uh, is it uh, increasing productivity for, for the carriers? So right now the way we see it is we're happy if the carrier that tell us that they are looking for more loads to fill their trucks, actually find what they want on the platform, and that uh, shipping needs um, uh, published on the platforms are met with, uh, with carriers. The very important thing is that we don't actually uh, ask uh, anybody to buy a truck and to, uh, uh, to do the transport for us. We work with uh, registered uh, carrying companies and they, uh, they are looking for volume to uh, optimize their routes and, uh, and be more efficient on their side. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Alexandre. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.